Hi, boys and girls. It's Mr. G. Uh, we're at school here. I'm with Pastor. We're practicing our social distancing, and I know that you guys have been too, and we've really been missing you through this period of uh, school closure. Um, we are celebrating Easter, and we're bringing this chapel message to you to do that. That's a very special thing for us as we're a Christian school, and a lot of our learning centers around Christ being risen and Christ having died for us. So, Thank you for sticking with this and for being good about learning at home with mom and dad. I know that your teachers are missing you. They love you, and uh, they're proud of you, too. And so I'm going to bring Pastor White in, and we're going to do the typical response thing. You can join us at home. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. So this is a very important chapel. This is a very important message about the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, uh, since we have so many children in our in our in our chapel program in our school, and there's all kinds of different levels of well, how much do I understand? How much do I know? Uh, let me just explain something very quickly now. Uh, Jesus's resurrection is it's it's different than everything else. It's not just that the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord Jesus Christ who died on a cross for our sins, came back to life. Now, of course, he did come back to life, really and truly. But he came back to life, resurrected from the dead, into the, the kind of resurrection that we're all going to experience one day, which is not, and, and we're not just going to be you know, resurrected or raised from the dead just to kind of pick up where we left off. We'll be resurrected, we'll be brought back from the dead to live a perfect, wonderful, beautiful life. There'll be no COVID-19, there'll be no colds, no flu, there'll be no sickness, no sorrow, no death. No, 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 we're going to be resurrected in a resurrection like our Lord Jesus, and that resurrection resurrection is one where we will live forever with one another, never to have any fear of anything harming us again. That's what our Lord Jesus Christ is for us right now. But in his resurrection, there's something very important that the Bible points out in the simplest way. So I'm going to read the Bible account from the Gospel of Matthew about the resurrection of Jesus that I want you to listen to very closely because it's going to say something that seems a little odd, but I'll tell you why it's important. So I'm going to read that now. From Matthew chapter 28. Now after the Sabbath, toward the dawn of the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. And for fear of him, the guards trembled and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. For I know that you seek Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he has risen, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. And behold, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. See, I have told you. So they departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them and said, Greetings! And they came up and took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. This is the word of the Lord. Now, there's a very important little phrase in this story. 
after Jesus, after the women had left the tomb, they hadn't seen Jesus yet. They had met the angel of the Lord. And the angel of the Lord rolled back the stone to reveal Jesus wasn't in there. You see, you see, Jesus didn't need the stone to be rolled away to get out of the tomb. Oh, at his resurrection, Jesus changed. There was something wonderfully different about the Lord Jesus Christ. He did not need the stone to be rolled away for him to get out like you and I would, right? We, we would need someone to take the stone away, but not Jesus. He had risen from the dead and he was not in the tomb. The angel rolled back the stone in order to reveal Jesus isn't there. And then, and then the angel described to the two Marys, Mary Magdalene and another woman named Mary who, uh, who, who knew Jesus. The angel described to them that Jesus has risen and that he would meet his disciples. And as they're going along, Jesus appears to them, and it says that the women fell at his feet. Got to make sure I'm lined up here. So think of this as Jesus' robe, and here are Jesus' feet. Now, why would God the Holy Spirit, let me stand to the side, why would God the Holy Spirit want to make sure that we know Jesus has feet? Why is that so important? Well, it's really very simple. You see, back in Jesus' day, people actually thought that there were ghosts. And ghosts just floated around. Have you ever thought about a ghost? I know I have. And most of the time, this is what people think. Most of the time, people think of ghosts just kind of floating around as if there's, there's, they, they don't have a body. You know, they have a shape, but not a body. And so they just float around. And they don't have any feet. Well, that's what people back in Jesus' day thought too. That, well, ghosts don't need feet because they don't walk around. This is why we need to remember our Lord Jesus Christ risen from the dead. He's not a ghost. He's not an imaginary figure. Uh, the Lord Jesus Christ is not like some of the, some of the uh, stories that we read about superheroes. Oh, well, those are fun stories, but they're not true. The story about the Lord Jesus Christ is true. And the fact that he has feet means that he is risen from the dead, fully God. He doesn't need someone to roll the stone away for him to get out of the tomb. He can will to get out of the tomb all by himself and just do it. And yet, he retains his humanity. The Lord Jesus is human just like us. Still, he has feet. Why is this important? This is so important because when, when we start being troubled, when we, when we 
when we need the Lord to understand us and we can't even express to him how we feel. And you know, during this isolation that we're going through right now, where we can't be with our friends, we can't be with people that we love, I'm separated from my grandchildren and I miss them terribly. And they're separated from me and we can't even be in each other's homes. It, it can make us feel sad. It can make us feel tired and worn out. And we need to pray. We need to pray and we need to ask the Lord to help us. It's important that you and I realize our Lord Jesus Christ when he rose from the dead, he did not give up his humanity. He didn't give up his human nature. He didn't even give up his human body. He still has feet. That means that he knows what it feels like to be alone. He knows what it feels like, and he knows how to help us. And you know how Jesus helps us to feel stronger and better? He makes his word, the Bible, available to us. That's how he helps us. Reading this Bible is how Jesus makes himself present with us. And he will make us strong and he will make us able to keep on doing the right things for the right reasons, even when those times get tough. Our Lord Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. And he isn't risen from the dead as some myth or some imaginary friend. He has feet. Our Lord Jesus Christ is fully God, our God, who doesn't need the stone rolled away to walk through the stone tomb. He can do it by his will, but he is also fully man. He has feet so that you and I know that he understands us and he will be our helper. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah.